Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Arielle. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become a socialite. Today's video is gonna be a really fun video, you guys. I'm basically gonna do my makeup somewhat backwards in a sense, compared to the normal way you see me do my makeup. So there has been a trend going around called underpainting. And what underpainting is, is basically contouring touring and highlighting your face before you go in with foundation. Now this is actually the first technique that I learned to do my makeup many many years ago and this was really the only makeup technique that I used or knew of until social media got really really big. With underpainting essentially you get a much more natural appearance when completing your makeup. So instead of having multiple multiple layers on layers you're basically trying to create a look using one or two layers with your contour and highlight lightly showing from underneath. This is how you achieve the true no makeup makeup look. I'm going to be giving you all tons of pro tips throughout this video. Go ahead and hit that like button before we even begin. So if you want to see how I got this ultra natural look using the under painting technique then keep on watching. So I'm going to prime my skin using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is a primer that I haven't used in a while. It really helps the makeup to sort of just grab and almost just suck to your face super easily and smooth. So next we're going to contour and highlight the face before we do the foundation. This is just going to help the look to be very, very natural. It's going to look like it's a natural highlight and contour as if it's the natural structure of your face, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This one is in the color 310. I'm using this one because this is not a full coverage bronzer, you guys. This one sort of lets the skin still show through. It's not super heavy, if you get what I mean in regards to the pigmentation so for a look like this it's just going to help it to look really natural using an elf contouring brush i want to use this that way we have that sort of nice structure underneath if you got it it ain't a question oh it ain't no one for guessing no more than emotionally invested when you contour, be sure to start the cheekbone contour at least an inch to an inch and a half away from the mouth so you can have a more lifted look. I feel like sometimes you don't realize when you take the contour all the way down to your mouth, you sort of drag the shape of your face down. Just a pro tip. For highlighting, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This one is in the color 6.5G Brittle. With the Beauty Blending Sponge, I'm going to blend the concealer. So keep in mind the point of it all is to let your highlight and contour show through the foundation, almost like you're contoured from underneath, from within in a sense. So you have to really think about the type of foundation that you wanna put on top. If you use an ultra full coverage or even just a regular full coverage foundation or even possibly use too much, you could possibly cover up the contour and highlight from underneath. So for foundation today, I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Skin Fit foundation this is a lightweight coverage foundation that's very luminous and it will definitely allow your highlight and contour to show from underneath so I want you to notice the placement of the foundation I did place it right where the contour and highlight sort of meets in between and then I placed it at the bottom where there's no product at all so I plan on blending this and what's left on the brush is what I'll use to sort of go over the areas on my forehead Making me cry with 
Every layer you add to your face, it gives you more of a dramatic look. Have you ever done your makeup before and you're like, I used neutral colors or I didn't apply too much. Why does it look so beat? Why do I look like I just have this full coverage beat? You may have used the right products. You may have layered them just right, but because you do have those layers on top of each other, that's adding coverage on coverage on coverage, which looks amazing on photos, but it does look a bit heavy in real life. It's really hard to get that no makeup makeup look when you apply in layers like we typically do. I'm gonna take Empress from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and apply this as my cream blush and just add that right here. So now that we have our cream products in place, it's time to place our powders. Now we also want to be strategic with this too because for a no makeup makeup look, you don't want to apply too much powder or you don't want to apply too heavy of a powder. So keep in mind some powders are more sheer or translucent, transparent in a sense. And you have some powders that have a lot of coverage or pigment to it. So you just kind of want to be strategic where you place it and which product you use. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. This one is the regular one, not the ultra blur. Typically to set my under eyes, I like to use the Beauty Blender Pocket Puff and that really gives me that smooth blurred effect. But I want something more lightweight today. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Small Taper Brush. This is a fluffy brush so I can sort of get a more lightweight coverage using this and not apply too much. I definitely want to set under eye because cream products under eye tend to crease. <laughs> I'm gonna bronze the skin a little bit using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, you guys. This is more of a sheer type formula. It's really good, lightweight. It doesn't apply too much pigment. And I use the color Ebony. Using the NYX Vivid Matte Liquid Eyeliner, I'm gonna do a baby wing. Keep in mind that a really good setting spray is absolutely essential. Anytime you use cream products and combine a powder on top, you sort of want to melt those two products in with each other so it doesn't just look like a powder sitting on top of skin. The spray sort of helps everything to just melt in together. I'm taking my same sponge that I used to blend my under eye concealer and just lightly blend everything in. I'm just pressing everything in one last time. If you guys picked up any tips at all throughout this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to come join the family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Cause too fresh with the scars